Sometimes if you want to create a smooth camera animation, you need to create a follow path constraint for your camera. So I figured we would take a look at how we can do that inside Solaris. So just real quick here, if you've been following my channel, then you probably know that I have been working on a series of devlogs on a full project called The Lost Facility. That's kind of where this stems from. I needed to create a camera that uh, moves slowly, smoothly through our terrain that we we're creating. Uh, and I did this with a follow path constraint. We're also building that scene fully inside of Solaris. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go check that out. But also this video is kind of taking place of the devlog this week. The reason for that being, if you didn't see my post, I have been having some issues with my PC. My motherboard basically just died. So I had to go get a new one and kind of build all that up. Uh, rebuild all that I mean and I was not able to really work on it so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this though that way if anybody's looking for how to do this they don't have to sit through a whole devlog and watch that but let's drop down a camera all I have in here is just a terrain that I created for that project and uh, we're just going to use that as our little reference. So we will need a camera, and then we also can drop down a follow path constraint. There is a node specifically for it inside Solaris. And there is two ways that we can do this. We can either wire it all into the first input, or we can wire it into the second input. That is our curve, I mean. And our curve that we're going to be having follow, I'm just going to wire it into our second input. That way it is just a little bit clearer. So we'll drop down a SOP create. And let's go ahead and dive in here. And let's create a um, curve. So just a Bezier curve. So you can press enter in here. And you can just, let's go to the top viewport actually. And like I said, this is a terrain. So this is gonna be super large. So let's just we'll start here and just kinda make something smoothish Hit enter and then let's also drop down a transform and we'll just move this up a little bit and we can go back to our perspective so now if we jump back to our Solaris here we can wire this into our second input let's set our display flag onto the follow path constraint and we need to do a couple of things. First of all, the source, this is going to be our camera, so we can just click and drag that into that source input. And the path, I'm gonna set this to our second input because we are using that as our second input. And I can just click and drag this target into that. And now if I jump into our camera, and you can see that we're kind of snapped to that already. And then we can take our position and we can kind of move this along. And you can see that we kind of move throughout our terrain. Obviously, you'd probably want a different camera animation, but this is just as a demo. So you can see um, the start would be zero, position zero, and the end of our path would be position one. And you can play around with all of the settings that you have in the normal geometry context. So your look up axis or look at axis, obviously, we want it to face along our path. You can also change the uh, the look up axis but we'll leave it as is and the up attribute is going to be your tangent u so you can modify that if you really want to you can also roll if you want to get some weird little fancy shakes or something i don't know but that is how you set up a follow path camera or a smoother camera animation inside solaris pretty simple but it is something that you may need to do from time to time so if you didn't know how to do it that's how you do it like i said this terrain is from our a project that I'm working on called the Lost Facility. It's a kind of a large project that I've been doing. I've live streamed a bunch of it. I've also followed some or created some devlogs that you can follow along with on what I've been doing in that. And you can grab all of these project files from that from that uh, series on Patreon. You can also grab all of the stuff that we create for that, including the terrains and everything on Patreon as well, as well as the project files that created those trains. So if you're interested in all that, make sure you head over to Patreon and grab those and check out those videos. Uh, just kind of see how you can create a large scene inside Solaris. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.